hunker down. I'm waiting for the snow. I love the snow. And stock up. It's a madhouse out here. Oh my God. And we verify, can regular old table salt melt ice or are you just seasoning your sidewalk? KGW News at 6 starts now. All right, let's take a look. There it is, a little seasoning of snow falling in Longview. Not stopping there, though. Brian Williams, for instance, on our KGW Facebook page, writing two words, bring it. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dan Haggerty. And I'm Laurel Porter. The wait is over, so buckle up, or better yet, just stay off the roads entirely. We have storm team coverage for you. Matt has the forecast, but Kyle has the snow. He's in Drive 8 Live from Rainier, Oregon. Kyle. Laura, we made our ways to Oregon. We spent most of the day on I-5 heading northbound towards Longview where big heavy flakes were coming down earlier. Here on the Oregon side, depends on where you are really, on Highway 30 here in Rainier, we've got wet pavement primarily. No real problems to speak of. There is some snow on the side of the roads as you can see there. It definitely is sticking in the grass and things, but on the roadway itself, it's wet, but no real problems for road crews. We did earlier see a minor fender bender, a woman had basically slid off of I-5 due to some slush. She said basically she's fine, no real problem, but it shows how slick conditions can be. But as we move out here on Highway 30 in Rainier, you can see what drivers are dealing with. Certainly some moisture on the roadways, but generally speaking, no real problems. Back to you. Thank you, Kyle. And now to the man of the hour, Chief Meteorologist Matt Zafino. You have our undivided attention. How is everything shaping up right now? You know, we're seeing uh, rain ch change over to snow right now across northern Clark County, western Clark County, basically west of Vancouver. Here's some video for you from yeah, Colt, Washington, of the snow that began just before sunset, which is now nearly 530. So there you go. It's coming down north of us and to the west of us, and it will eventually just take over, and the rain will be no more, and it will be just snow. Here's what it looks like on Doppler radar, where you see the green. It's rain, and it's over Vancouver, up to about the I-5205 junction north of that it's snow west of I-5 it is mainly snow it's all snow up in the West Hills right now Forest Park and uh, Germantown Road sticking snow there up at about a thousand feet and the areas that are still rain here in the Portland area they will mix out and change over to snow between about 8 and 10 o'clock tonight so uh, that estimate has been revived or revi revi uh, changed revised just a little bit now to the west we've got some very strong showers off the coast could even see some thunderstorms there just to add that to it so the bottom line is this if it's raining at your place it'll change to snow in the portland area by 10 o'clock 8 to 10. farther south down the valley south of say camby that changeover isn't going to happen until very early tomorrow morning so the mid valley south of camby salem corvallis you're going to change over to snow later early in the morning hours tomorrow. We're looking at one to four inches in the Portland area and as much as six inches in northern Clark County and in the gorge, even more out by Hood River. And then it becomes very cold tomorrow night. Now, as we look at our modeling, you can see what happens with that as we get rid of the rain later on this evening. Again, about eight to 10 o'clock, it should be gone by nine o'clock or so. And then we still have the winter storm warning that actually begins uh, in about an hour at seven o'clock and extends through tomorrow. This is not our last chance of snow. We may see even more snow more snow than we're going to get tonight, tomorrow, as we go into Sunday night and Monday. Back to you. All right, Matt, thank you. With a forecast like this, so many people get anxious about the roads. Fear not, though. The cavalry says it is ready. ODOT's huge piles of sand, de-icer, and salt are good to go right now. PBOT says they're, they're also ready for this thing. Uh, they're involved with something right now called the incident command mode. So they're, they're set. They're planning on using that de-icer, sand, and salt if they have to. They also have 50 plows at the ready, but they won't send them out until there is an inch of snow on the ground, they say. Well, there might be some mixed emotions in the Park Rose School District tonight. They, they had to go ahead and cancel tomorrow night's winter formal. Uh, kind of a bummer, but uh, on top of that, they also had to cancel the uh, ACT testing in the morning, so a little bit more time to study, I guess. Not too bad. But we have a whole list of other cancellations around the area. You should check them out. Those are all on KGW. Because there have been a lot of cancellations. And judging from the folks we talked to downtown, TriMet is going to get some serious usage if the roads get dicey like they were earlier this week. If I can just uh, have my bus line not be canceled so that I can connect to the light rail to get down here. I uh, might just take the train to get around. Is that safer? 
Well, just remember those chain TriMet buses can't really go faster than 25 miles an hour or so, so plan some extra time to get around. Here's another little note. Uh, it's something that I think a lot of folks were dreading, maybe secretly expecting at the same time. Michelle Obama has officially now postponed her appearance in Portland. It was supposed to happen tomorrow night at the Moda Center. Now it's going to be happening March 19th instead. So it's a Tuesday instead of a Saturday. But if you had a ticket for tomorrow, just hang on to it. It's still going to be good for that rescheduled date. When an entire region decides to stock up for the snow at the same time, it looks a little bit like this. Empty shelves and long lines. Maybe you experienced it. KGW's Pat Doris took a trip to the grocery store. This morning, empty cold case shelves and picked over veggies are an unusual sight at the normally well-stocked Hollywood Fred Meyer. It is a zoo in there, yes. It went along with long lines at the checkout stand. It's mad. It's worse than Christmas, and I mean, from my perspective, anyway, my wife sent me out, so I figured nobody would be here in the middle of the day, but everybody's here. In the large parking lot, cars circled several times looking for spots. I think I got the last one in the last row at the far end of the parking lot, so. It was that kind of day. It's a madhouse out here. Oh, my gosh. But this store was not unique. The Fred Meyer in Beaverton saw big crowds as well and long lines at the gas station. And the Tualatin Fred Meyer had empty water shelves last night. A shopper at the Tigard Winco sent us these pictures. Other shoppers wanted us to see the long lines at Winco in Gresham, Vancouver, and Cedar Hills. At the Clackamas Costco and others in the area, shoppers had real trouble finding parking spots. It proved a challenge for many but probably better than running out of supplies at home. Safeway shopper Stephanie Simmons thinks she does have what she needs now. Either way, she's not going back. Hopefully not, no. Yeah, I'll shop online. <laughs> there you go. Now that the rain's falling, those who endured those long lines in the crowded stores, they're going to see that it was worthwhile. Back to you. Pat, you're making me nervous. Can you run in and just get me a nice 12 IPA? Any Portland brewer will do. I, I, I'm worried I'm, I'm gonna be, they're going to be out when I'm on my way home. All right, thanks, Pat. Appreciate that. Now, we have our KGW viewer voice question for you about hunkering down. And when it comes to stocking up, when you need what you need when you're stuck inside for the storm, what do you grab? What's the priority list here? Food, salt, coffee, or booze. Head to KGW.com slash vote or click vote now on the KGW app. We'll have the final results for you a little bit later in the newscast. Of course, you kind of hear what my priorities are. Jeez. Well, being snowed in can be fun if you have a place to curl up and keep warm. But if you don't, it is a completely different story. KGW's Maggie Vespa is at City Hall for us. And Maggie, leaders say they do have places for people to stay for the night. Yeah, Laurel, they definitely do. In fact, they have 320 severe weather shelter beds ready to go tonight. They can add more, they say, if need be. But beyond that, they tell us the challenge is making sure Portland's homeless know they have those options. Out in southeast Portland, a van filled with sandwiches and hot coffee is helping deliver a life-saving message. We brought some food back. Union Gospel Mission's search and rescue volunteers are working with extra urgency tonight, meeting the city's homeless where they are and warning them snow and bitter cold is headed their way. Most of the people I've talked to kind of know it's coming. Some people, you know, they don't have access to TV or, or don't have a phone. And for some, knowing isn't the issue. A lot of campers don't like crowds, have trouble staying sober, or are afraid of losing their campsites and their belongings. Most likely I'll probably stay here so I don't lose my tent and lose my sleeping bag and you know. That's the message Portland's mayor is trying to counter. During this severe weather situation, nobody Nobody will be turned away from emergency shelter. Mayor Ted Wheeler standing alongside city and county officials tonight, stressing safety for everyone during this storm. That means finding beds for Portland's homeless. Call 211 to find shelter or ask for a ride. It also means finding help for those in trouble. We want to let folks know not to be afraid to use 911. Um, if this, if those folks seem like they're in an immediate need, uh, this is again a life or death matter and, and we expect that uh, we'll be going on some 911 calls. Back in southeast Portland, that more dire warning hits home. I asked volunteers what they do when someone wants to take their chances out in the cold. Pray for them. 
I mean, there's not, we can't force them and drag them inside. So, you know, we, we have to pray for them and, and hope that God's on their side and helps them through this. Now, we do want to know that there is a protest that you might be hearing right now in the background that's pertaining to the city council vote next week on the joint terrorism task force and its ties to the city. We'll cover that next week for tonight. We do just want to reiterate ahead of this storm that anyone who needs shelter or a ride to it should call 211. Again, if you see anyone who seems to be in actual physical trouble because of the cold, officials say don't hesitate in that circumstance to call 911. And anyone who wants to donate to Portland's homeless ahead of this storm can head to www2 211info.org. It's right here at the bottom of your screen. They even have an Amazon wish list there so you can donate from home. Back to you. Great resources there, Maggie. Thank you for the report. Now we have kind of a, I guess, a silly question for you, but do you know the answer? Can you use regular old table salt to salt your sidewalks? We're going to do a little verifying for you coming up. Super surprising. And later, a race for a playoff spot interrupted by a nasty dose of real life. We're all going to miss it. And, but the thing is, is, I know that she's, you know, every game, she's watching. How the loss of their team mom only brought the Century women's basketball team even closer.